I definitely think it's unfair what they're doing. It's, it's sad. It's very sad. Burned by tanning, the problem solvers dig into investigate a well-known tanning chain accused of ripping off customers. Some customers of a chain of tanning salons in the Portland area say the company is tricking them out of money, lying to them to get access to their bank accounts. More than two dozen people have filed complaints against Islands Tanning with the Oregon Attorney General in the last four years. Some also recently contacted K2 News for help. So problem solver Kerry Tomlinson started looking into it. And Kerry, a lot of the complaints are about contracts, right? Well, yes, tanning companies often offer packages where you're supposed to get a discount for buying a lot of tans at one time. But some customers at Islands Tanning say they ended up paying far more than they thought they agreed to. You may enjoy the beds at Islands Tanning. The problems for some customers start at the counter. It was a special, yeah. Andrea Ciudine thought the special at the Tigard Islands Tanning would save her money. They said for $100, I will give you a whole month to do whatever you want to do. You can get a body wrap, you can get tanning, you can get blue light therapy, just anything. So I was like, great, this is a great deal. She paid with her debit card and signed a form, she says, with no numbers on it. And I asked for a copy of it and they said, don't worry about it. Like we have it, we'll have it for you. She called Islands Tanning later with a question about her $100 tanning package. And they said, well, you're, you have a $1,400 package. And I said, no, I don't. <laughs> but they were serious. From a $100 one month package, she says, to a $1,400 nine month package. It's totally unfair. It's totally unfair. She tried to resolve the problem, but says employees would only give her a fax number for company president John Guyette. She faxed him and asked to see her contract. I still asked for a copy, and he said we don't have it anymore. She says Guyette told her no cancellations unless she pays a $200 fee. Next thing I know, there's $200 out of my bank account. What do you think about that? Uh, betrayed. Andrea is one of more than 30 people who filed complaints with the Oregon Attorney General. What did they tell you about your package? Like Stephanie in Oregon City. He said, if you cancel after six months, there is no charge. None. She does not want to show her face for fear of retaliation. She and others say employees lied to them about the contract and they signed based on those lies. And we asked him that after he said it. So there's no charge at all. None. He said yes. None. But the contract said there was a charge. She tried to go to the corporate office to meet with the president. He said that he doesn't have an office. He works at his house. She says he did not help and instead took out a $200 cancellation fee and wrote this response to her complaint to the Better Business Bureau. Quote, I believe this lady is emailing us from the mental institute. Please notify authorities. Hi. Hello. We're with Channel 2 News. Hi. We went to find John Guyette at his home and office in Tualatin. We've heard um, a lot of complaints, and there have been a lot of complaints filed with the Attorney General's office. Okay. So we wanted to hear what your thoughts were on those complaints. But Guyette kept his thoughts about those complaints to himself. Don't come to my dorm, bother me, lady. Have a good day. Thank you. Really, what the business is all about is sales at all costs, money at all costs. Katie Lynch offers what could be a view of Islands Tanning from the inside. She says she's a former employee who worked there for six weeks in 2011. She says she saw the salespeople deceiving customers regularly, misrepresenting costs, trying to get customers to sign contracts quickly before they could read them. They, you know, say this is what your payment's going to be. This is, you know, how many months, you know, initial here, here, and here, sign at the sign and date at the bottom. And, you know, we need your card, basically. The results? Phone calls, people coming in just irate about, you know, people having overcharges on their account. You know, where did this fee come from? I finished paying my contract. I'm still getting charged. You know, tons of different issues like that coming through all the time. For Katie, this response from the head of the company is not a surprise. Don't come to my dorm, bother me, lady. Have a good day. Thank you. Guyette posts pictures on Facebook of a red Ferrari and a boat. Some former customers say he should focus less on money and more on good business. He should change something if so many people are complaining about similar things. Look at yourself and say, I need to change. <laughs> something.
Now, after we visited Guyette, he sent us an email saying, quote, all customer concerns are addressed very quickly, whether they are faxed in, mailed in through the BBB or any other manner. We have always maintained the utmost pride in this aspect of our business. In that email, he also said he has maintained a perfect A rating with the Better Business Bureau. We checked records and we found that most of his locations do actually have an A rating, though one does have a B rating. So we wrote back and we said, well, yes, but what about those 30 plus complaints with mm -hmm. the state? No response. No response. And Silence. I'm sure the customers really appreciated you investigating this because you go into a business kind of with a, a blind faith. Right. And they felt that they tried to get help and tried to talk to the owner and said they were treated very rudely. And so they did appreciate the fact that we're at least trying for them to get some answers. Thank you. Good stuff, Gary. Thank you. If you have a story for the problem solvers, here's how you can contact them. Email them at problemsolvers at katu.com or call them at 503 736 3415.